Well, hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, Bebe Amente y Tu y Yo. And today, I thought I'd bring you guys along for a look back on a period of time when I did a no-spin challenge for myself. Now, first things first, I want to give a little disclaimer, and then we'll get straight into the footage. I think I learned a lot about myself, which we'll talk about that after you see the footage that rolls from the week. Um, I learned a lot about myself and my spending habits, and I think it was a good idea that I did this video, even though it didn't turn out like I expected. Also, I gained a lot of knowledge from you guys. A lot of you commented about what a no spent meant to you, and so we'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of this video. But right now, let's roll into the footage from last week when I actually attempted to do a no spend for a full week and eat solely out of my refrigerator, fridge, and pantry. No, wait. Freezer, fridge, and pantry. Let's get into it. Guys, today I have a totally different video for you. I basically decided to do a no spin challenge for a whole week and eat only out of my fridge, freezer, and pantry. And I don't think it's gonna be that difficult of a feat. We'll see, cause I'm only on day one, right? So, you know, right now I say, oh, it won't be that hard. But you know, let's see when the weekend hit. Let's see when the days hit and the kids is out of school. Like we'll see how we progress throughout the week. But as of right now, I'm feeling like it's totally doable because I am a food hoarder. <laughs> let's just keep it real, okay? I basically go to the grocery store when I already have food at home. I've had a bag of frozen shrimp in my freezer, um, a bag of frozen fish fillets I bought because they were on BOGO. I'm the girl who always goes to the grocery store when I already have groceries, and I cannot be the only one. I know that several people suffer from this. Um, it's a bad, bad habit. Like if, oh, I want a pot roast, I just go buy the pot roast, and I might have ground beef right here, and I can make something tasty. Or I might have some chicken thighs, but I'm like, you know what? I feel like some chicken wings tonight. I just go buy the chicken wings. I really need to get a handle on the impulsive spending. And sometimes I just don't feel like cooking and I literally just head out to go buy fast food knowing I have something I can whip up in maybe 15 to 20 minutes. I have to get a handle on that. And I'm really feeling like a no spend week for groceries and dining out will take care of it and get me back on the right track to start cooking, you know, and eating things that I already have. Stop being so wasteful. Does that make sense? Right now, what I need to do is get started on cooking some breakfast. We'll talk a little bit more about mindset and what my mindset typically is and the reason why I don't do no spins usually, but I felt like this one is really not that bad because your girl has a lot of groceries she could live on for a week, so. And I felt like a lot of you could probably relate to this. So anyway, let's get started. I need to make myself some breakfast. It is Thursday, March the 7th. It's close to 12 noon because I was doing some work earlier today. We're gonna get started with some breakfast foods. I don't care if it is noon. We'll call it brunch. <laughs> let's get started with brunch. I have a set breakfast that I have all the time and I have plenty of stuff in my refrigerator. I'm literally winging it this week. I think I have enough to take care of me and Jace because the other thing is I've really been hung up on buying groceries for a large family and I'm literally cooking for two people, me and Jace. Like, what are you doing? I think I have enough for us to make it happen. I'm just gonna have to force myself to get up and cook every day and that's gonna restart that good habit. Okay, I always have bacon, eggs, and some type of starch, but I had got this half loaf of sourdough bread from a bakery called The Daily. It's a coffee shop. And I bought two loaves, put one in the freezer, and I defrosted one because now it's time we're eating out of the freezer, okay? So I have some delicious sourdough bread. So I'm gonna cook up this breakfast, bacon, egg, sourdough. Oh, and an avocado. There we go. And that's gonna be breakfast. It's 12, 22. I'm just gonna cook up two slices. Now, I should be worried. Like, typically I wouldn't even think about this, but I only have three slices left. I think I have some chicken sausage in my freezer. Panic is already setting in, okay? <laughs> I'm like, wait, if I don't have no bacon. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Girlfriend have a whole nother pack down here. Hold on. I dare not show y'all my refrigerator, cause this, Honey, until we clean it, it's out of pocket. But look what she got. 
Okay, yeah. I need to. We'll talk about all that later, what's in there. We are gonna clean that out and talk about that later, okay? Every time I'm cooking breakfast like this with bacon and eggs, I feel like I'm Seely from The Color Purple when she was cooking breakfast for sure. Y'all know what scene I'm talking about? I'm gonna put it here. All right, so this is my typical breakfast that I have. And I'm not gonna film it every day, but I will show you guys when I make it. I'm kind of irritated because I literally have like another half of an avocado. So I was debating whether or not I was going to like spend $20, you know what I mean? Something really simple and go to the grocery store and get like fresh fruits, but I changed my mind. I was like, you know what, Salisa, you're just wanting to spend and live in your crutch. Deal with what you got. I got some frozen fruit, we'll make it work. However, I've now come across a new obstacle. I only have like a cup of coffee. I have a cold press machine. I think I'm gonna cold press some coffee for this week. Do have some Califia Farms oat milk in there that I can make my coffee with and a little bit of Splenda in it. But I'm gonna run out of coffee before the week's over. I'm not gonna buy anymore. And we're not going to Dunkin', we're not doing it. What we're gonna do is cold brew us some coffee and make it work. So I'll show you guys that later on in the week as well. But for right now, let me eat my breakfast, make me a cup of coffee and yeah, I'll pick you guys back up when I'm making lunch or snack, dinner, something like that. Okay, you guys, I'm only gonna have a snack cause you know, I have brunch and it's five o'clock. It's almost time to cook dinner. So, uh-oh. So I'm gonna have this popcorn some pink lemonade is diet pink lemonade i had it in my old coffee cup that's those spots just ignore it and look how many chocolate almonds i have left like it's a joke it's something sweet to go with my salty so i'm gonna eat the last <laughs> the last of these little few chocolate almonds and some of this okay this is only my second bag it's not the most tastiest i'm gonna be honest with you maybe because it's 94 percent fat free where's the butter but anyway I'm gonna have a bag of this and then I'll be cooking dinner soon. So yeah, I'll pick you guys up in a minute. So far, so good. Okay, I really truly, truly feel like this challenge is not gonna be hard for the first few days, okay? Cause I, I have a lot of stuff in there, but where it's gonna, where I'm gonna run into difficulties, I feel like it's gonna be like, I have no more chocolate almonds. Like there are certain things that I want and I'm not gonna have access to it. This popcorn is not tasty. And if it was up to me, it'll probably sit in there. But because I have nothing else going on, I'm like pretzels or popcorn. Neither one do I want, but we're eating out of our cabinets, remember? I'm not really all that hungry, I'm more snacky, but I don't have any snacky foods. It's right around this time that I would have taken myself to go get a bag of french fries from somewhere. So you guys, I'm sitting up here eating my popcorn. I've only made it like not even a quarter of the bag, it's gross. Anyway, um, Jace comes in here telling me about the new crumble flavors. Now he knows we're on a no spin. He knows we're on a no spin and he tells me they have a Biscoff cookie. And he got some kind of Oreo milkshake and the cookies end on Saturday. <laughs> That's the problem, the cookies end on Saturday. He said, uh, we can't get it cause we're on a no spin. And I'm like, what? Wait, I said, what if we have Grammy buy it for us, my mom? I said, what if we, <laughs> what if we have Grammy buy it for us? He said, you found a way to teach your own challenge. <laughs> I said, that's not me spending it. She's buying it for me. He goes, you found a way to cheat your own challenge. <laughs> Greedy people will find a way to get what they want. And it ain't this doggone popcorn. I wish he wouldn't even told me. Don't be over there giggling. I wish he wouldn't even told me, but he come in here telling me about them flavors because he know he pushing my trigger points. Anyway. I had to pick up a camera and tell y'all that. All right, I'm gonna figure it out. I had some defrosted pork chops, so I went ahead and fried some pork chops with panko breading. And I had planned on doing this some time ago because I got the pork chops about at least a week and a half ago and they've been in my refrigerator. So we're gonna have that with some broccoli and I put some rice in the rice cooker. The rice is still cooking. I didn't have any flavored rice, so I just added some of this bouillon to the regular rice as I put it in the rice cooker. So we're gonna have some chicken flavored rice as well as the pork chops and then some broccoli with butter and salt and pepper. 
Here's the completed meal, pork chop, chicken flavored rice, broccoli seasoned with butter, and that's it. Not a bad meal for cooking out of the freezer, huh? All right, I'm gonna eat my dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday. We have made it to another day. I had to come over here by the window because there's no light in my kitchen. So I'm basically making some breakfast. It's about 12.15 this afternoon, <laughs> around the same time that I had breakfast yesterday. So we're just gonna continue to call it brunch. Um, and I'm having three slices of center cut bacon, the last three that were in that pack, with some sourdough bread and eggs, avocado, same thing going on today. Yeah, tomorrow I'll probably switch up breakfast being Saturday. But for today, let me go ahead and make my plate and then I'll show you guys. And also, I had a couple of thoughts about something. I'll talk to you about it in a minute. Okay, it's pretty similar to what I had yesterday. Actually, exactly the same, except an extra piece of bacon. And I had eight whites instead of the egg, the whole egg today. Still have the other half of avocado. And I'm really sad I have no more avocado because I kind of been making a promise to myself to have a half of avocado every morning because the doctor said my good cholesterol was low. And I don't eat fatty fish. I don't really cook that much with olive oil, but yeah. Anyway, I'm also made myself a coffee and I made it with this Premier Protein Cafe Latte flavor. I added the tiny bit of coffee that I had left into the cup and that's what we're gonna drink today. So that is breakfast, fresh out of my refrigerator. Okay, so here's some things that I was thinking about. First of all, um, I don't have any coffee and I'm gonna make hot coffee at home. Am I breaking the no spin rules if I get a free coffee from Dunkin'? Cause I do have some points in Dunkin' and I'm not gonna lie. Let's just be real. This morning I went to go to the bank and I was right at the Dunkin' Donuts and I said, uh, let me cash in 500 of my points and get me a free Dunkin' coffee because I have a bunch of points in there. And I went through all the steps to do it and everything. And then I said, you know what? Go home. You have a little bit more coffee at home and you have your protein shake that you can drink. So it'll even give you extra protein. So I came on home and made it happen. But over the weekend, like driving to go see my daughter, I'm feeling like if I use the free points, that's still no spend. <laughs> she over here trying to negotiate with herself. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about that one. So this weekend I might end up at Dunkin'. But more importantly, my sister is trying to make a whole lunch plan for this weekend. And I never have time to spend with my sister. Like we're never off the same days. If we are, our kids have many activities, but the kids happen to be out of school as well. She was originally trying to go out of town and I'm like, girl, I'm in a no spend. Like I can't go out of town. <laughs> I can't go out of town. I'm in a no spin week. I said, man, I might've picked the wrong week, but it ends up turning out Jace wants his friends to come over and like play video games and stuff all one, one of the days that they're out of school. They're only out two days. We're probably not gonna go out of town for that reason alone. He's already got his own agenda with his friends from school. But my sister now is like, well, if we don't go out of town, let's all go out to lunch. And I'm like, wait, how am I gonna do that one? So I started thinking if I cash up my envelopes and it's just for weekend fun, that's not a grocery budget. Hmm? That's not stunkin'. Hmm? That's not even really dining out. But I'll be using my weekend fund to dine out. Sips coffee. What do you guys think? Well, by the time you see this video, I would have already made a decision. So we're just going to play it by ear. But it's just something to think about. Like, I'm primarily eating out of my cabinets. I'm even thinking about, because uh, when Jace has all his friends over here, there's going to be like six teenage boys. Guess what I'm cooking for them? If you're a mom, you should already know. Spaghetti, uh, it goes far. A little bit of garlic bread and some spaghetti. And guess what? That is in my pantry. I always keep some spaghetti sauce and some pasta noodles. So we don't even need to worry about that. And the nose bin on the food is kind of rough because that is my biggest hurdle. You know, some people are like, oh, I like to buy clothes. I looked at some clothes just yesterday that I am really loving this one particular style from Nordstrom's. And I was like, oh, it's so nice. But I never push the button and actually buy. Now food, on the other hand, your girl be out here splurging, whether it's going to a restaurant, trying a new restaurant, a dessert place, get more food from the grocery store than I need. I mean, that is really my splurge. So when other people are doing no spins on like clothing or nails or whatever, whatever they're doing, okay, they're no spins on, my no spin directly revolves around food, period. So I'm gonna try to like, you know, rein it in for this week. All right, so far it's working. Let's just stay on task. I gotta get some work done. All right, you guys, why do I keep doing this? Anyway, it is, what time? 
seven o'clock. I'm supposed to have a live on YouTube at eight. And so I just came down here trying to think. This is exactly the times when I would have said, let's just order something and run and pick it up or have a pizza delivered or something like that. But we're no spending this week, right? Okay, so. So this is what we're having. Some frozen extra crispy fast food french fries and some beer batter fish that I got on BOGO maybe like two weeks ago. So we're gonna have that. I'm gonna make some tartar sauce and we're gonna have some corn that I'm about to put on the stove. And all of that should be done in less than 20 minutes, which is the type of meal I need for tonight. So yeah, I'll show you when my plate's done. Okay, fish and fries, corn, and I found this in there. Well, Jace ate half of it, but there's still another half left. I'm gonna have a little bit of this salad with my corn and fish. That's what I've decided. All right, here's dinner. Two fish, corn, some air fried french fries, and I found a salad that was not so great, but then I found this salad and it was good. But this salad, uh, it wasn't so good. I'm gonna throw that one away. But I had a little of this and just put some of that buffalo sauce from the other salad pack on there. And that is what we're gonna call dinner for tonight. Okay, I'm back. It's like 10 p.m. and I am super hungry. I don't know what's going on, maybe, because I really didn't enjoy that dinner. And all I keep thinking is I want to go get something sweet. So, anyway, I got in the refrigerator and I found this that I had, which is a key lime pie, light and fit Greek yogurt. It has 11 grams of protein, 130 calories, and it has this crunchy stuff on top, which is supposed to be, I think, graham cracker and white chocolate. Hmm. Huh. That ought to satisfy a sweet tooth if I say so myself. So yeah, so I'm about to eat this. Um, but it was already in my refrigerator. Because trust me, if I went out at night to grab something, I would not be going out grabbing no key lime yogurt, okay? <laughs> so you could bet your bottom dollar this was already in my refrigerator. Um, and so I'm going to eat this. I had to come back on because this is quite interesting. I've never had it before. <laughs> The thing of it is, I'll be having stuff in my refrigerator that I never had before because I want to try it, but then I never try it. But since we're down to the nitty gritty, anyway, it looks like this. Let me see it. You can't really tell how green it is on camera, but it's really green and it kind of tastes like um, a lime popsicle until you put the toppings on it. It doesn't quite give key lime pie, but I would buy it again. And it probably been sitting in there for like three weeks and I never ate it. Instead, I would go get something sweet like from McDonald's ice cream cone or something. But, <laughs> but all the while, I could have been having this yogurt and it's pretty tasty. I'm figuring it out. Just go in there because there's enough stuff in there for me to eat for days. Anyway, I forced myself because I was just sitting here at 10 o'clock at night after getting off that live on my YouTube channel and thinking... I want to go get something to eat. Good morning. Oh, it's actually 1115 today. So look, she's getting up a little earlier, moving around today. It is, look at my pantry. It is Saturday. Look what's in here that I didn't even know was in here. <laughs> Y'all don't be know what's up in this cabinet. Beans and rice. I think I'm going to make that for one meal. Um, I have some other rice, this kind. But I found that I don't like the rice that you could just microwave and go with. So that's why it's still here. Um, this morning though, this morning I came in here to get some grits. Look, they're even unopened. For today, I think I'm gonna make some grits, bacon and eggs, some cheese grits, and I have all the ingredients, so. <laughs> also, this morning I was supposed to get up earlier and clean out the refrigerator, pull out some stuff out of the freezer, but I'm gonna try to pull out a few items and at least show you what I'm thinking in my head, or at least you'll see the game players that I have to eat on the rest of the week. So let's get started with that. And I'm tripping because I need to make me a cup of coffee. I have some of this coffee been in my pantry for forever. And then I have some Cafe Bustello, but there's hardly anything in here. I think I'm gonna finish this one off and add it to the other coffee to make it a little stronger in the old school, in the old school traditional coffee pot. That's what we're gonna do this morning. This is totally when the games end. I don't have a coffee filter. 
Wait, I got three kinds of coffee, but I don't have a coffee filter. Okay, so I got all ready to make my coffee. I got Death Wish, Cafe Bustello. It's only a little bit of this Death Wish, and y'all, it's not even strong. Cafe Bustello, which is the truth, and then some U-Ban that I don't even know how long that been up in there. And I don't have no coffee filter? This is unacceptable. I cannot function on a weekend with no coffee. Okay, I went to Google. They said put, let me show you what I'm gonna do. Good old Google came through. Said put the filter here, put a paper towel inside, put the um, coffee grounds, and then put some boiling water. I'm gonna boil the water in this and pour it down over the coffee and let it drip into my cup. My cup says one blessed mama. Isn't it cute? Yeah, so I'm gonna do that and we're gonna see if we can get us some coffee this morning. Look at what I gotta go through. All right, first things first, we're going to put some water in the kettle. Let's just go ahead and put two, two cups because I need about two cups of coffee. And turn that on. All right, next we're gonna put some coffee grounds in here. I'm gonna try to finish off this Cafe Bustello because that's strong. Oh, there's quite a bit in there, okay. Wait a minute, let's put some Cafe Bustello in there. This wasn't even that strong, y'all. But anyway, let's put some Death Wish. Somebody gave me this at work. Okay, and then once the water boils, I'm gonna pour it. Get back over there. Once the water boils, I'm gonna pour it over here and it's supposed to filter down into my cup and make me a cup of coffee and I'll let y'all know if it's a success. All right, let's see how this works. Something's happening. Go on down in there. I think it's working. Let me just pour it off because I'm like waiting. Should I not mess with it since it's boiling hot? I think it's going down. We'll give it some time. And my experiment didn't quite work because there's a spout on the bottom of this thing that when you push it down, that's how the coffee comes out. See the grounds coming out? So I'm just laying it to the side. So I pulled the paper towel out and all the coffee was in there and I have it here, but there's still some grounds. So I got a cup of ice and I'm gonna try to Back up pepper before you get burnt. Exactly. So I'm gonna put some, like half of the cup of dark coffee. I feel like it's worse than espresso with that Cafe Bustello. Okay, to say the least, things got worse before they got better, okay. <laughs> but I added some ice and I'm gonna call it an Americano. I added a little bit of Splenda and now I'm gonna add some of this Italian sweet cream that I have in my refrigerator as well and top it off. And we're gonna call that an iced coffee today. <laughs> we don't know how good it's gonna be, but that's what it's about to be. In the meantime and in between time, I made some cheese grits. We're gonna turn that off, cause that's ready. And the bacon, I have it on slow cook right now. I'm gonna flip it, let it cook a little longer, and I'm gonna make some eggs, and breakfast will be done. All right, here's breakfast. Pretty basic today. But y'all, this iced coffee, it actually tastes like Dunkin'. It don't taste bad at all. You know when how I said Dunkin' tastes like water, but it be getting you hype? It's like that. <laughs> it tastes kind of watered down because of the ice, but mm, it's good. Okay, I could do that for another four days. The legit star of the show is the grits. Yo, cheese grits. I don't know. I was not raised in the South. I was raised in California, my mom. Her mom was from the South and probably that's how we ended up getting up on grits. But I use mine with butter, salt, pepper. And today I sprinkle some cheese up in there. And yeah, they are giving life. You mean all this breakfast goodness was in my refrigerator all along? Who would have known? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna be processing some Etsy orders today. So um, I'll probably check back in cause it's already about uh, 12 o'clock I think. 
This is around the regular time that I eat, around 12. Check back in this evening to show you guys what I'm gonna be making for dinner. And I still didn't do the freezer fridge clean out, but I'm gonna get to it. Yeah, I'm gonna get to it. All right, you guys, this probably isn't the best lighting, but you know, I'm in the drive-thru waiting to use the ATM. Um, I just went and took my youngest son to go to my oldest son's house. He's gonna spend the night over there. And they're just gonna have some boy time. In the meantime, I was thinking about so many things along the way <laughs> because I realized how much my world revolves around just making quick stops and picking up something, you know, stopping to get a drink, stopping to get a snack, stopping to get, and I even like asked Jace, you wanna go to the gas station to get a snack? He's like, wait, we're in no spin. I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are, oops. Um, but after I dropped him, I was thinking, oh, I would love to stop at Quick Trip and just get me a sweet tea. And I'm like, it's really unsweet tea, but I put Splenda in it, but still. You're in a no spin, girl, stop it, go home, you know? And so um, I passed Duncan, and I was just thinking about all the places that I would have stopped along the way to pick up something to eat. The moment I dropped him off, I probably would have stopped and got something out. Not because I'm so hungry, but because I'm like, ooh, that Chinese food would probably sound good or a Philly cheesesteak probably sounds good or to stop and get a tea, you know, sounds great. So I just started to think about how many times just in a one like 30 minute span, I've thought about stopping and getting something. It's pretty outrageous, really. I mean, it's crazy. So, um, and it puts me back in the mindset of when COVID had came down. I started cooking a lot right then and eating at home no matter what, I would pass up any fast food place, any restaurant, because I didn't wanna wait in long lines. I didn't wanna have to deal with all the exposure. So no matter what, I would go home and I would cook. That's kind of put me in this mindset. I'm not even really hungry. It's like I want a snack or I want something. It's midday, it's like 2.50. So I just had something to eat about three hours ago. I'm not really hungry. I'm more so like, yeah, just bored. Maybe it's just boredom eating, you know? People say they have emotional eating. I'm not really sitting in any weird emotions. I'm just kind of like, oh, it would be good to like treat myself, you know? And I gotta get out of that mentality. So anyway, I'm gonna get my cash out of the bank and I'm gonna head home and do a cash stuffing video and then work on some Etsy orders while I don't have a young child. But I thought I'd update you guys on some thoughts while I was pulling up. So let me do my bank order. All done. I made it back home and I decided to make me a huge glass of crystal light. I didn't stir it yet, so I'm about to stir it up. It's 32 ounces. And I think I have something in here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not it. Oh, here. In the pantry, I have some of these. Nobody eats these but me. It's a coconut butter biscuit by Hidden, Hidden Valley Ranch. It's definitely not Hidden Valley Ranch. It's Nature's Valley. <laughs> Nature's Valley Biscuits Coconut Butter. There's only like about four or five left because nobody eats them but me. Jace doesn't like them, so I'm gonna have one of these biscuits and some Crystal Light just to carry me over until I have dinner. And I'll be having dinner solo tonight. So we'll see what I come up with, okay? Okay, you guys, left to my own devices since I'm here at the house by myself. I just didn't feel like cooking the whole meal. <laughs> Maybe I'm not taking care of myself well, but I have a cinnamon raisin bagel with some honey walnut spread that was in the refrigerator. And I found some dumplings and I just pan, I'm pan searing those right now. I'll show you in a minute. But there was only like six dumplings left. I was like, I'll just eat the dumplings and the bagel. See what I'm saying? Just put together any old thing. That's gonna be dinner for tonight. Okay, these are the dumplings. These are flat dumplings. They are so good. But there's only uh, seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven of them left in my freezer. And I went ahead and served that up with some dumpling sauce. And I'm just going to have this because look how quick that was. Literally like, oh, you guys don't know. But literally it was like five minutes to fry these up. And so I'm going to have that and call that a night. Hold up. Hold up a minute. <laughs> Let me get comfortable. Okay, you guys. So we are back from the little review of the week. And there was a couple of things that I wanted to kind of talk through. Okay, first of all, I was being super strict with myself and I realized like that's not necessary. What I, <laughs> when I polled you guys in the middle of that whole no spin thing, I filmed a cash stuffing video and I asked about like, well, if I put money into my weekend fund, you know, can I spend that on dining out on the weekend while the kids are out of school and this and that? Um, 
And everybody was like, oh, no spend is for something that I don't actually budget for. And that got me to thinking like, am I being too hard on myself? I mean, I was strictly trying to eat out of my pantry and maybe I should have called it a pantry challenge and not a no spend challenge because yeah, I mean, if a no spend means I can budget for it, wouldn't I just budget extra so I could be extra ridiculous? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly how that would work for me. Um, even though I do agree that this was a little bit restrictive. Hence the reason why I was not successful, right? Three days rolled through and then the weekend came and I went to lunch with my sister. Um, I spent time with my daughter on spring break. We ended up going to get food. We went and got Indian food one night as a family. Like, yeah. I don't think I can make it out of my pantry 100% for a full week without feeling like some kind of like lack mentality because food is my splurge, right? It's the way that I like, you know, have a good time with my friends and, you know, treat the kids. We go out, we eat out, you know? So to really like no spend on that and just 100% eat out of my pantry is just ridiculous. And I'm really like a fly by the seat of my pants type girl. So I just was like, oh yeah, I'm going to try it. I think I can do it. I have plenty of food. The thing of it is I don't want the plenty of food. <laughs> I want to try new things. I want to go to restaurants. I want to socialize. I want to, you know, all of those things. The way that I did a no spin, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. That's too harsh. It's too strict. Now I do have a little bit of like questions about what a no spin really means. I don't know, there were so many different definitions in the comment section of the last video when I asked about it, but it's like, if a no spend means you can't spend outside of your categories or your budget, then wouldn't you just budget for a little more if you wanna spend more? I don't know. Somebody said they actually did a no spend on vacation. I was like, wait, what, how is that? How? <laughs> make no sense to me but I guess that's why I typically don't do new sp no spins I am thinking about though the fact that this one week or this three days caused me to bring to the forefront of my mind how much money I truly do waste on just stopping places spontaneously and spending money now if I was preparing for that though right I would just put more money into those particular categories like dining out or groceries or whatever so that I could do that. But I think what I wanna challenge myself, next month I'm gonna do another week and I'm gonna try to challenge myself again. But instead of calling it a no spin or a pantry challenge, what I wanna do is like a slash challenge. That's what I wanna call it, slash. <laughs> and I'm gonna slash my categories maybe in half, you know? And I do see a lot of people that do that. They budget for a certain thing and they try to shoot under so they can have additional money in order to save towards savings challenges or whatever. And I'm gonna try to just slash it in half, not absolutely take it away, it's impossible. Like my whole circle of friends, family, my guy, my kids, everybody is about like, you know, going out, living our best lives and, and going out to do activities. And when we're out doing activities, of course we're gonna stop and get something to eat or stop and get that tea. <laughs> So that's impossible. But I think I might slash mine in half one week next month just to see if I can actually live on a minimal budget. And I almost did that this time. I don't know if I told you guys, but I thought about, I think in the video I mentioned, I thought about just giving myself $20 to go to the grocery store and get like fresh fruits and vegetables. And even that I think is too restrictive. But if I'm taking my weekly budget, uh, grocery budget from like 200 to maybe like 100, where I still can go spontaneously get food from the grocery store or take my dining out budget for the week from maybe like 100 down to 50, where we still have the opportunity to go, I might have to just get, you know, a four for four biggie bag or something, you know? <laughs> anyway, it was fun to do this challenge because it even caused Jace to rethink how we were spending money. Now, was he tempting me with the like little, you know, crumble cookie situation? Yeah. But he also stayed in line times that I tried to jump out of line. He's like, no, 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 that's not what you said. Like, let's stick on track, you know? 
And it forced us to get in there and eat some of the things that we typically wouldn't have. Like for instance, going in there and eating those frozen fish, those french fries had been in there for forever. Nobody likes those frozen french fries, but because I was like, well, we're gonna have the fish with fries, Jace, and a salad. <laughs> he said, okay. And he ate it and he actually thought it was good. So look how easy that is when, you know, usually I would avoid certain things in my freezer. I'm going to now take the time to gravitate towards pulling things that I typically wouldn't want to gravitate towards pulling. But instead of letting them go to waste, just cook them up and serve them up as a dinner for both of us. We can survive a couple of nights out of the week eating strictly out of the refrigerator, pantry, and freezer. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Made all the way to this point. Um... I appreciate you for being here. I'm gonna pick the winner for the A7 cash envelopes and put that here on the screen. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Let me know, what do you consider a no spend challenge and how would you execute it? Cause yeah, I wanna take on this challenge again, like I said, next month, but I'm gonna do the slash. But you know, maybe I'll get some other ideas for video contents and ways that I can improve my spending overall because I can be very, you know, spontaneous and frivolous with the spending, especially when it comes to dining out. I think that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. Don't forget to like this video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who might need this type of content and to realize that we're not alone. I know there's other foodies out there that are suffering from this as well. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with someone if you think they would enjoy the content. And that is it. Stay tuned for the winner of the A7 envelopes and I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care. Okay, you guys, so I came straight up here in order to go ahead and pick the winner for the A7 cash envelopes with the new vinyl embedded in them. What we're gonna do is go to the RN pay budget and cash stuff from last video and go to pick a winner. And once we're there, we're going to use the hashtag new because that's what you had to comment in order to possibly win those envelopes. And it will be for a set of eight A7 envelopes. The winner is going to be Tony Pony Sings. And she said, I always look forward to watching your videos. Hashtag new. Those envelopes look really pretty. Thank you so much, Tony Pony. All right, so reach out to me over on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle, handle here on the screen. Reach out to me there and I can go ahead and get your contact information so I can send those envelopes off. I'll also need your eight categories. And I think that's everything, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.